with the infamous Joe Dog, well known for Jamaican and British history in the seventies, yeah. eighties, and nineties. Live from Jungle, Jamaica, mm. January twenty twenty one. In his own words, for Black Q TV, true jungleist. Yeah, go some man. Nice to meet you. Yeah, same to you, sir. So when was you born? Born 1954, the 16th of the 8th. So how, how old would that make you? Make me 66. Okay. So how did you get the name Joe Dog? Well, actually, I get that name Joe Dog. You see, I was eating my dinner, right? And my granny had a dog named Tarzan. And my this is a big steel job, and the dog all of it, I'm trying to take it away from him. And he bit me and I bit him back. My granny said, hey, dirty dog. So my cousin them two grew up in a big family. Uh, my cousin them started uh, teasing me and that's the way the name started. Stick. Okay, so that's how you got the name Joe. Yeah, and the old family, every name too. My, 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 I would have said no. To my ability, my fame, you know, I'm been struggling in the ghetto. You know what I mean? In the, in the criminal activity. So where did you grow up? I grew up in Trenchstone. So what was it like growing up in Jamaica back then? Well, I like growing up, my mother was a politician, actually. You know and I mean? They always want to kill her, so I get involved. And actually, I grew, all I really say, oh, I get involved in, in, in this thing. My mother couldn't finance me, and I used to love enough food. I used to love enough food, and I used to love to be healthy. I used to love good clothes. So I end up starting to steal from when I was seven years old. Being there a bastard, as they call it, a poor school in Jamaica. Never see, once I went there, I reached there, I always be running away. You know what I mean? Until so I end up on the street, right? So that's when you got into criminality at the age of seven? Well, yeah, at the age of seven. Was your father involved in criminality? No. Paul was a gambler. So how did you make money back then? Make money when I, when I started taking rock tourists. That was like 1967, 66. And when Jamaica was just coming out of colonialism, it was easy, just like all England was. You know, everything was easy. At that time, they started broke, broke ship warehouse in sea, you know what I mean? So you know Jamaica, a violent history that has not been documented from the people who are part of the political struggle. Well, I, yeah, I know. Can you help me and the younger generation to understand what actually happened? Well, it actually I could have lived over my life. I wouldn't take that road. And I would have said straight up, I've been there, done that, you know what I mean? And the worst thing I you couldn't take up now, especially the gun. Cause it's two things. I'm a grandmaster, so I can talk. It's two things end up once you take up the gun. Either the, either the dead house or prison. When you're in prison, you're a dead man anyway, because four grey walls surround you. Hmm? So, and how how were you and your friends involved? When well, me and my friends them, right, like, but I was ever from 68, 69, I said, you have tribal war, you used to have tribal war. In the 60s, you used to have, up here was Vikings, Tivoli was Metic, Rima Manu was Saigon, yeah, Rima Manu was Saigon, you know what I mean? Water was Pigeon, and we all had have rivals, so, I was, at the age of 10, 11, I used to mostly walk with the man and try the man and guns. You know what I mean? Try the guns and, you know what I mean, with the man and until I end up starting to fire the gun. So at what age did you first fire a gun? What age? I was say about 10. Make gun. We used to make guns those times. Okay. Make our own guns. Or the bicycle bar. We used to use the 12 grade, 12, 12 grade the shotgun, and yeah, yeah, make, we used to make, they used to make our own guns. Okay. 
So looking back now, could you have avoided the lifestyle? No. Just the circumstances? No, I couldn't avoid the lifestyle, car. You see, I used to love good clothes. I used to like good food. You know what I mean? So, my mother couldn't afford it. So, Lord, what the whole of them people are there? So, what, what are going back? Cut, cut there, cut. Cut, what the fuck, this man? Yeah, but, 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 but me are going in debt. I'm in debt, me are going in my lot. Yeah, we know my people, them, but uh, yeah, anyway, go on, cuz. Is there anything you would have done differently? If I have a choice, looking back from then to now, if I could have lived over my life, I would have, been, I would have stayed in school, get a good education, get, get a decent job, but that never did, that never, I never worked from the day I born. I never worked for no, no, nothing from the day I born. From the day I born, it was always criminal activity. We know politics has a big part to play in the demise of unity in a community. Well, the thing about it... I say, hold on, I say that because of <coughs> provided guns to the, because they provided guns to the community. Yeah, they do. What, what, what's your take on that? What do you, what do you think? Well, at the, thing, at the time, JLP party was working with the CIA. Michael Mann was a Democrat, he worked with Cuba. Not for communism or not like that, but better because America always, as you know, America always exploit. With, with the MI, MIF, you know, they all exploit, and, you know what I mean? And Michael Mann, you know, they started to be sold because Cuba was the nearest neighbor. So the thing about it, they have Chicago. The CIA, because the CIA was paranoid, Jamaica was going to turn communism. Michael Mullen never had that government agenda. So that's where he started to exploit the country. So growing up, my mother was a political activist. And I would have said 1972, when PNP win, you know what I mean? The youth that made them grow up was Rima youth. They called them Rima 13. That's where I started. That's where I start my, my career at taking life, and proper arm robbery and things like that, because all of us start to go to the same school. You know what I mean? And 72 now, they divide us, because two days down there was a JLP place. When it was growing up, it was no politics. It was more, more tribalism. So the bigger men them were bigger than me, and I say, well, I look up as role model. They start to decide our life. You know what I mean? Because politics come in now, and politics, they got the money, they got the police, they got the power. So I have to choose. So they cause the divide? Yeah, but they, they cause the division. So you and Bob Marley were friends? Bob Marley, after when, after, seven, after seven, 77 and shoot him up, after 77, when he was having a peace concert, right? <coughs> For the People's National Party. And they get paranoid. The JLP get paranoid for some reason, I don't know. How well I would assume. Bob Marley was an influence and Bob Marley was making money. So I look at grudge come and I look at paranoid come. So I end up starting. After they shoot up Bob Marley, I was amongst Bob Marley. Where was you when he got shot? And how, 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 how did it affect you? How did you feel? Well, it affect me because Bob Marley really was a trench stone man. And you know what I mean? The thing about they get paranoid. It was all about politics, and he was doing a he was doing he was doing a concert for the People's National Party, right? <laughs> so they get paranoid, shoot him up. Bob Marley, Bob Marley wasn't a politician. Bob Marley is a man that did with everybody from every walks of life. You know what I mean? Especially Trenchstone, because that's where he gets the information, inspiration from. So the thing about that, I end up starting being monks, Bob, you know what I mean? Every day with my double action 45, because we never was going to make it repeat. You know what I mean? I understand, I understand. So when did you, when did you leave Jamaica? What caused you to leave Jamaica? <coughs> All right, uh, that's right down there, they killed my mom. Right? It was an internal affair. It was an internal affair. They murdered my mom. I end up killing about nine of them. 
and then JLP was, was in power, uh, but it wasn't JLP killed my parents, it was an internal affair. Because the man them started to exploit the people them in the community, you know what I mean, with the bullies. Him. And one day I said to the man, they, they don't want to of my next associate them, in an argument, I tell them, say, I came out M16 now, when people them ready to rise, they will rise. And that's when, that's when really and truly it does happen. You know what I mean? So they murdered my mom, so half of this community run away and never be returned. You know what I mean? Half of them, you know what I mean? I killed about nine of them. They were, uh, you know, got my mom. I, 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 don't, I don't have no regard on that. I don't regret that because my mom. You know what I mean? So where did you go when you left Jamaica? I, well, I, I, leave, I leave and go to England. And when I go to England, you used to have like, when I go to England, the rest of my name when I go to England, my, some from the JLP, that's dread, dub up, right? No, Crucial never could, I was there before Crucial. Thing that was there, dub up, ranking dead, run them out. They all was the man who was the top man. But what they was doing, right? They was just bullying the English youth them and things like that. And then the division. I wasn't going to repeat that car. I just ran out, I lose my mom, I lose my mom through that, that bollocks. So when I go to England, I saw the rest of the man like Nap and Reggie Gods and all of those men. And I mean, I meet some terrible youth like myself and we all have respect for each other. Like, like Jitterbug, Adi, Sal, Panchos, Reggie Guts, you know what I mean? They're all the street youth. So I take a, I take a different line. Cause I decide, say, I gotta choose my life. All my life, politics and, and, and gangism was ruling my life. So the best thing I could have had behind was drugs. Drugs really saved me. Cause if I wasn't taking drugs, I wouldn't put up the certain shit. Even now, I wouldn't put up the certain shit. So. The English youth them was more solid. The yard man them, most of the yard man them, to me there was there wasn't a bad man in Jamaica. But when they go to England, the English youth them so cool and civilized, cause they used to think. Most of them never used to nothing. So they come there and they feel like they can bully. And I never really too take take to the yard company. And certain people like was my friend, like Bobby Dog and cause there was the hardcore street youth them. Uh, crucial and them youth there. And most of the yard man them was in farmers, the police them all because they don't want to come home. You know what I mean? They start to sing over a cup of tea. You know what I mean? So the thing about it, to me, there was just a little wimp. You know what I mean? You understand? So what, the, the thing about it, drugs really saved my life because I wasn't smoking drugs. You know what I mean? My head would have been the same thing. Maybe I wouldn't even be around now to talk to you. You know what I mean? Was it a cultural shock for you? Like, yeah. You've been leaving Jamaica. No, but you see, why? You see, too, I was born as a British subject. Cause when I was born, when I was born, Jamaica was ruling on the, the Union Jack. So in the sixties, Jamaica was like England. You know what I mean? Law and orders, things. You know what I mean? You could go in the store and take anything, and you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I mean? Jamaica, so I have that culture. So when I go to England, I could have really adjust. You understand what I'm saying? I could have really adjust. You know what I mean? But I never liked bully. I didn't from I was growing and most of the men them would come to England as yard man. They was bullied because Jed was taking Ranky Jed was taking away you chain and raping you raising women and bullying. And then them have a them have a look at beef but you know what I mean? They know their place and me know the place. Cause they, they, I get more respect really and truly from my enemy them who was the next party. I get more respect from them because they know their place and they know what I'm like. So real bad man respect bad man. So what area did you go to when you were there? Well, I go to Labrick Grove. Yeah, but always, always all over London robbing all drugs pushers, especially the yardies them. And then because what they used to do, they know I'm a big man and they know I'm a soldier. Right? And when I have my money, 
Right, they got the best drugs. And when I have the money, I must stop. So she will take it a load of bollocks. And, you know what I mean? And when I start to spend my money, you know what I mean? Because I was good at what anything I do, I was good at it. You know what I mean? That's why I could live. That's why I could live now to be a grandmaster. But that's how you survived when you were in Well, I survived. Yeah, well, that's the way I survived. You know what I mean? I just grabbed drugs, push them. I was being deported three times from the United Kingdom. Cause I was, in, I could have been in England, but I never, I couldn't work with the feds. You know what I mean? Cause they was just giving away citizenship. I drove for political asylum, cause really and truly, you know, my life was in real danger. You know what I mean? But they didn't give me because I was working with them. So how did you survive the English weather? You know, what do I say about the English weather? The English weather to me, at first I got cold. But I eat it just. You know what I mean? I, I wear the best thing. I wear all cashmere, I wear all the uh, sheep skin, everything. So I have, a, I have everything to keep me warm. You and your generation set a culture of precedence. Mm. For the next generation to follow. Like, <coughs> I grew up hearing of the names that you've been calling. Yeah. From long, long, long time. So. Yeah. Well, Cloud Mashup, Jim Brown, me and, them, me and them was used to being shootouts and things like that. All of those men, all of them dead. Tony Welch was my commander officer. I, you know what I mean? He was the first one to give me an M16 rifle. I never get my gun from politician. I used to take them and go and rob my. Uh, Rob security and police and take their gun. You know what I mean? But the first gun I got from the politician was an M16. Okay. And all of those men, all of the men them from in the 60s, dead left me. All of them dead left me. Well, I know God have me for some reason. Some people say, well, maybe, you know what I mean? The amount of life you take, the amount of life you take, I'm gonna, take it, when I was taking when I was taking life, I never have no choice because I was taking my friend life and my community life. So I have to take life. I have to take life. You know what I mean? So what advice would you give a teenager who wants to be a gunman? I give uh, tell him say what what advice that I give him, right? I really and truly. Taking up the gun, you're giving away your freedom of your life. You know what I mean? You can't end up crippled. You know what I mean? Especially these youth nowadays, they are kill, they are friend killers. To me, they are mad. They are smoking too much of that environment. They are killing babies. When I was growing, I never shoot babies and women. I never uh, that was in, in my life, in my in my script. You know, I go for man who was gunman like me. You know, what I, mean? I was good at confrontation. If you find a gun, I put cotton in my ear. I don't want to hear shit. I just want to get to you. You know what I mean? So tell me about Cuba and the military training. Well, I've been to Cuba, right? But I'm not going to go down that street. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> been to Cuba, as I said, the CIA was training gay men in Miami. You know what I mean? And as I said, they get paranoid. We went to Cuba for, for some reason, but you know, it was a reason. It helps. How many attempts on your life have you survived? All my life, and then I many, many attempts. Both my mom and me, and our whole family. Looking back at your life, did you expect it to turn out the way it turned out? Well, I never expected to live to 16. But when, you, when you're in the street, <coughs> you have to be loyal to your friend, respect people, and respect your enemy. You know what I mean? Don't underestimate nobody. And that's what keeps me alive. And I learn from most of my friends and mistake. You know what I mean? Because you have some of them do some dangerous thing and you have some of them. You know what I mean? Don't do what they do. You know what I mean? Um, like Starkey, Danies, Wally Dreads, and all of those men. You know what I mean? All of them. How many of your old school junglist friends are alive today? <laughs> Well, I can count a few of them. And most of them died. All of, most of them died from my days. Bobby Dog is here, Lyrics is here, they're still there. You know what I mean? Crucial still around. You know what I mean? 
and there was my old friend. Although Bobby Dog was JLP, Crucial was JLP. You understand? But we we gain that respect in England. Cause in England we don't have no politician can use me. We making our own money. We are doing our own thing. So we decide say, yeah, we are in a civilized country. So let's so let's come together and respect one another. Yeah, you do your thing, I do my thing. Once you don't cross me, I don't cross you. We ain't got no beef. So looking back at your life and everything that you've been through, you feel like you're blessed to still be here today? today? Well, well, to be a grandmaster and an old fox, I must be blessed. Because from I was growing, it's too together our love in life. I don't believe in go with a man. I don't believe in farmer. I don't believe in bad-minded. So I stick to that, because most bad men and most ghetto youth are bad-minded. You know what I mean? I envy. I never envy a man, you know what I mean? Because I know my ability. If I want something, I'm going for it. Just like if a, if a man try for my life or a man kill my friend, I'm going for him, I will get him. And I always get them. Because I was good at what I'm doing. From the age of 10 years old, walk with some dangerous men, all of those men dead. Some old fox like some old fox and the whole of them dead. Well, I live to be sixty-six, so I must bless. So you so you know all of the, the old school names that people talk about. Yeah, you? all of them. Yeah, uh, Cloudy Master was and and Jim Brown. Yeah, then mean shootout and things like that. All of them. You know what I mean? Last time then them get so close, I entered my old magazine in the car. And not one of them gets shot, and then they come and say, that's when the war start to develop. Because I was a man like this. I never used to walk with people go for my enemy. I used to like, because I was like pizza cushion and Vincent. I know those old duffy show. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because they, they were my role model. You know what I mean? Special pizza cushion. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? When they see me, before I even put it in my ear, you had ready gone to shut that country. Tell us about the 80s and the 90s. Well, 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 the 80s, I live here in 1983, right? And been to England, you know what I mean? So that's when I trained my gloves. You know what I mean? I went to England, you know what I mean? I got my gun in England, but I never used it, because it never necessary. It was the last result. Because I used to have some dangerous men, you know what I mean? And I meet up a man like Vincent Bratz. At the end of man, but we all have respect. Me and them get on more any yard man. They didn't like Jed, because Jed was a bully. But me and them have that respect. You know what I mean? Yeah, me and them have that uh, all 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 the old criminals, especially Jitterbug, right, and Nap and them man they, they was a street youth. You know, the next youth named Newell, uh, they call it New, Mr. Newland. You know what I mean? Vincent Rat. All of we we live together. They was bad, but them and the rest of the yard they couldn't get on. But I never really sparred with the yard man. I sparred with most Englishmen. Because I was want to learn. You know what I mean? Because Englishmen just don't they it just don't death so in England. And you know what I mean? Most men who dead in England, sometimes the police kill them. So I stay away from the 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 HR criminal activity. You know what I mean? Cause I never knew, you know what I mean? So when you came to, how did you end up coming back to Jamaica? Well, they deported me in 1985. I spent one month here. And they deported me in 1977. Well, it was, it was the same bollocks I come, but I never, I stay away from it. I was, one of the time I was going to join it. On the find I was going to join it. And then I, I went back to England. You know what I mean? Cause that life, you know what I mean? Cause what man am fighting over? He don't have no cause. At least we was fighting over politics. It was doctrinated. It was corruption. But it was, a, it was like a war. You know what I mean? Cause Michael Mann was standing for something good for Jamaica people. Self-reliance, better. And I was doctrinated and believing that. And I still believe in that. You know what I mean? Jamaica, you know, Michael Mann was dealing with education, educate the people them. You know what I mean? The nation. I don't know Boston Manti. You know what I mean? Each, each policy. 
Yeah, each policy was a different thing, in it? U.S. politics was mostly literacy. Michael Norman Manley, as you can say, I was educated from a young age because my mother was a political activist. She was a very intelligent lady, you know what I mean? But she couldn't, she couldn't feed so much of us. So I have, a, I have a friend from my little sisters and brothers. You know what I mean? So I never got no choice. Anything else you want to Anything for this? Well, all the world is to the youth them now, right? The youth them. Because once you take up that gun and start to take life and fire gun, there's no turning back. You know what I mean? If you want to turn back, you got to migrate and change your life. But once you start to kill, especially the man who kill enough, that one in the day in the community, I love the bollocks. Because we are one village and one family. So I want to say to the youth, the youth them now, ooh. I can't say to the man who start, because when I start, nobody could tell me nothing. See? All I say, when, if you don't that ill, right, good luck with you. But the youth, them who don't Indian, and, I mean, the, and who are about to be in there, don't take that road. It's not a pretty road. All of my friends are dead. We were nearly 3,000 of them. You know what I mean? And I'm, 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 I'm still here. You know what I mean? At this time, people, I like when people undermine me. Because fool cannot play fool. I like to play fool. Because fool is already fool. You know what I mean? I know what I can do. I know what I can do. It's easy to bad, but it's hard to be good. And I'm trying to be good. You know what I mean? The good thing about it, I never used to keep living in my community. That's why I can be here and walk the four corners. And I was an idol. You know what I mean? Especially when I go to do my, 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 my bad thing. You know what I mean? Especially if I go, go with some medication. You know what I mean? I walk in hours, you know what I mean? I still got my, I still got my buried there if I want to. I still can go down the lane. All of those, all of the youth them were here. I respect them, you know what I mean? I pass them every night with the big guns and the ray ray. You know what I mean? They all, the, you know youth stay, they want to know they run in the ground. But they ain't running no ground. They run in for a casting out of prison. You know what I mean? That's what they're fucking running for. You know what I mean? Because not in the community you want to be like jungle now. You have this man who want to control Abana, you have this man who want to control Pegasus, you have this man who want to control Angola, you have this man who want to control Mexico. What control? There's nothing there to control. All you have to do is respect people and try to build up and try to make the them have a better life. Find a gun, the youth them have to go to school. I load the bollocks. You know what I mean? Load the bollocks. You know? So why well, should the youth them now take up what the boat to take gun? Don't go down that road. The man them who take it up and been there, I can't tell them nothing because they're already in it. They're already rotten. Once one upper bad is that really bad. And if you roll the man them who already bad, you gotta get involved, because it's all about fame. It's all about hype. It's all about nothing, bollocks. You know what I mean? Cause most of you know your friend today and tomorrow I kill you. What, you know what I mean? Friends are supposed to stick together and loyal. In my days, if I have one shot in my gun, I go on the road and rob. You know what I mean? When I go on old Canton Spring, Reddish Road, Uptown Jackson, the roads, anywhere. You know, I go anywhere over the island, especially with my enemy. I go anywhere over the island and get my enemy. Come out of your community to make money instead of doing it. You know? Yeah, you don't do it. You, you build a community. You don't must up the community. You don't exploit the people in the community. Because if you find a gun, people have nerves break down. You know what I mean? Guns kill people. It's not people. People kill people. It's not guns kill Because a gun is no problem than drinking a fool on. You know what I mean? And these bad boys, they don't live for... They, they don't live for... This is 18, 19, you know what I mean? That's like my generation. My generation was a rubber. Was, you know what I mean? They want to wear the best. Them here with a little cup and grubber, you know what I mean? They say they're bad men and really walking up there. They pants down their batty like they're bad men. They're fucking load of bollocks. What they don't know, when you have your hand and your pants down your back, that's the way in America, man bitch in jail, you know what I mean? Wear the pants down the batty. You know what I mean? Oh, you know what I mean? I'm holding the pants out, that's man bitch, you know what I mean? They pick up a different culture. Anyway, they got the American culture. You know what I mean? They are, they are internet, they are programmed. 
So did you do any time in England prison? I've been never prison in London, in England, all north of south. But I've never been there for long, because there's a little bit of supply in, and you know what I mean, they're like a bollocks. I, I always play against it, so I always get a turn off my sentence. I don't, you know, I don't grow up in GP, I charged to murder 11 different times. You know, I, mean, I got to pool school, I was going to jail, and when I used to go to jail, I used to keep me for eight months, nine months, six months. And I was like 14, 15, 13. You know what I mean? Before they had to keep me. Because no pool school, they sent me and stay in there. Because I was a sweet, they used to call it sweet. If you stay there, you're a sweet in the yard. And they stay there, come like the man say you're batty men and things like that. You know what I mean? So, I was growing and eating the culture. The, the man in my culture days was a different kind of set of men. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? These youth now, they're bad, they're mad, they're mad. You know what I mean? The next thing I come and see Jamaica. Jamaica, most of them get to come and inoculate you now with lesbian and sodomite. People do what they want to do. I don't against people what they do what they want to do. I do what I want to do. You know what I mean? But a different kind of culture. Things were never accepted in my time, it accepted now. You know what I mean? And you can't, you can't, you can't say nothing, car. I've been in England. I have a friend who is faggot, associate really, not friend, associate. But I respect, I don't respect you to what you're doing. I respect you to how you, you deal with me. You know what I mean? So you do your thing, I do your thing. But Jamaica, it gets a, it gets a different mind. It's a different thing. I'm still struggling, I'm still going to. You know what I mean? I'm still, I'm still with the young soldiers then and give them the respect. You know I mean? But I don't really into what they into. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I upset them because I was down that road. I, the, the, the good one them who the good one them who want to live live as long as me. Them always ask me, Joe, you live so long. I said, listen to this. Loyalty my and respect and honestly, the man. The day you honestly the man, that's the day he's a dead man. Cause a fool can kill you. We think he's a fool. He ain't no fool, cause no man can see no man for calibre. You know, I, mean? I could be talking to you and preying you, and that's the way the youth is. You buy a new, a new sneakers, as I say, a trainers in England, right? In America, them say sneakers. And a man comes say, yeah, I. What all of that for? When I was going about ten, nine different wear clocks, you know what I mean? Cause I go up there, sometimes I buy all two or one clocks. I go up there and rub. I used to go up there and rub the middle class, cause the middle class are prejudiced. Can you talking about England prejudice? Jamaican middle class are prejudice. So I used to, I used to exploit them. You know what I mean? But you understand what I'm saying? In England, I find more prejudice uptown, you know what I mean? More than even in England. Because the same people there, they look down for you for the clothes you wear, they look down for you for your style here. And remember, I grew up on a Rasta culture. You know what I mean? So Rasta, all the respect Rasta, peace and love. But once you cross me, I have a bullet you. In we don't know that. Yeah. I say in England, it's easier to know when someone's against you than it is in Jamaica. You no, in England, in, in, in England, <coughs> they ought to know somebody against you. Because they don't dark and illiterate. They, they, they play at your own game. Keep the enemy more closer. That's the way England is. And English, English is head game, head banger. You know what I mean? In England, I'm not over shoot. It just match up mentally. You know, degrade you mentally. Jamaica, life is necessary. If you call me love life, I, I never know life so nice. If you want to take, a, take life, you know, you know how much thing I got on my anger? And on my belt, enough, 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 you know what I mean? And I could have lived with my life, I would be able to fly. Call go life nice and enjoy life. But it was a way of life at the time. You know what I mean? Because when you, when, when you, if you come and shoot my friend, I'll diss my friend. I ain't waiting for you, my friend, to tell you. I don't want to know, I don't want to know him this year. Going for you. One, you know, that's the loyalty I used to have. My friend didn't never have that loyalty. But I did. And that's what keeps me alive, really. You know what I mean? You understand, cuz? You know what I mean? But the English shoot them in England. England, I ain't getting a rat and use the stuff. Not the gun business, more shooting stuff, not the one and the other. It's a load of bollocks. Because the thing about it in England, you don't have to take that road. 
Social security, the government is there for you. Jamaica is getting there, getting there now, because they got hard for the youth them. You know what I mean? But the youth them, if you put a, if you put a, a million dollars in front of some youth in the, in the ghetto, and put a gun, if you take in the million dollars, take in the gun. That's how stupid it is now. You know what I mean? The English, English youth them, they deal with money and, 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 and lie to their friends. You know what I mean? And they brought up the friend, you know, they brought up the use of things. Jamaica youth, they don't use to nothing, so they, they, they just mentally they step to the you with me now have a hundred thousand. I'm gonna say that pussy and I pray for kid. And now I pray for say, boy, you know something, I could do something now. So you know, could buy some weed and I could go do something now. You know, I'm gonna pray for pray you. And that the bad boy them nowadays, right? Three streets away they live and they're not passing that street. You know what I mean? No, no, no. Jamaica have having enough guns, have enough license guns. See, if I was bad in now, now in my old days, I, I couldn't hold the money. Can I just go for those license guns and then just wrap them in the guns? I'm going to sell the guns, because the guns will make money. But they don't got no backer. They all the backer they get is to keep the money in the community. A lot of bollocks. You know what I mean? I'm going to get 20,000 for killing man. What is 20,000? That can't go up on my pipe. You know what I mean? 20,000. What's 20,000? You buy a good shoe, they be worth 20,000. I'm going to kill a fair of 50,000. What would fuck that? You know what I mean? If I'm killing a man for money, that would be nearly 10 to 15 million because barrister of fear is, is very expensive. You know what I mean? If, I, if I'm in criminal, I have to, when I was growing, I have the best QC. You know what I mean? I always have the best QC. You know what I mean? Because when uh, I'm doing crime, I always save up my money for when the time. And when I was growing, I never used to like to be free. I like to like the police wants me, so I keep myself in that lane. You know what I mean? You understand? So what do you consider a legend, obviously, in Jamaican history? Well, well, uh, well most men know I'm a legend. I'm a grandmaster. You know, killing people from the age of 13 and being there and doing that. Well, I end up to be a grandmaster. But to me, it was a load of bollocks. You know what I mean? Because it was, to me, it was a curse. And man was killing my friend and my community. So I'd have to defend it. You understand what I'm saying? In England now, the youth them were taking up bandits. Yeah, yard man picked me. And some of them come daft like their father. Because their father was already daft. The real men then know, like Nap's sons and, you know what I mean, certain man's son. They don't take the role, them men, they just kick it back and, you know what I mean, making their own money and doing their own thing. Because they learn off of the dad mistake and they learn off of the dad friend mistake, you know what I mean? You understand what I'm saying? You have to be honest to yourself now.